Hi, my name is um, Dr. Ebony Cornish, and I am the integrative functional medicine doctor here at the Amen Clinic. So I just wanted to use this time to give you a brief overview as to what exactly functional medicine is. And it's simply the way it sounds, understanding how the body functions. And one of my goal when I meet patients that come through the clinic is that I want to get to the understanding of why they're not feeling well, not necessarily what the diagnosis is. And we do that in numerous different ways. So it's kind of like I'm a detective. So I take a step back, I look at your history, I see that you're not feeling 100% yourself, and I look at it from a systems-based approach. Now, the first system in healing, we think about the brain and your hormones. So typically, your initial functional medicine evaluation will require that we do a numerous questions relating to your brain functioning, including relaxation techniques. We'll also evaluate your hormone panel because if your hormones aren't stable, your body's, if your body's not resting, then you won't heal. So that's kind of the first stage is understanding how the brain and how your hormones are connected and what status they're in. Um, the second stage of healing, which I think is just as important as the first, is understanding the gut. All right, because our gut is our second brain. So what I'll do there is I'll do a thorough analysis of your dietary and lifestyle, come up with some interventions. Um, it may mean more support for your gut, possibly removing offending foods, but just educating you on the importance of treating your gut well and how that relates to treating your brain well. Because when they say you are what you eat, that's absolutely right. Gut health is important for us to have optimal mood stability and optimal brain functioning. Now, the third stage of healing that we evaluate from your functional medicine um, protocol is detox. How is the body removing and clearing the toxins that we put into it? I mean, face it, we're all toxic. What we breathe, what we eat, what we smell, what we touch is toxic. So it is our body's goal, especially the liver and the kidneys, to filter those toxins that we ingest out. Now there are numerous reasons why people have problems with doing that. It can be genetic reasons, and we'll do our due diligence with evaluating that. It can just be that it's an overwhelming amount of toxins that that burden is just kind of built up, so you just can't clear it. So we work on different ways to get you the optimal detoxification plan so that you're not kind of having a buildup of a toxic load, which also can lead to brain inflammation, because that's one of our goals to kind of decrease this inflammatory response. And then you want to get down to stage four, step four, which is eliminating the causative factors. So then we ask ourselves, okay, what are some of the other contributing factors to your, your wellness? And so that means we dig down and we may evaluate for infections. We may evaluate for heavy metals. We may evaluate for other types of environmental toxins, including mold, mycotoxins, yeast. We also look at trauma and history. You know, the psychiatrists do an excellent job of doing a thorough neuropsychiatric component because you want to also make sure you eliminate that cause um, of, of mood instability. So it's really taking a step back and digging deeper at the different layers, making sure the hormones are optimized, sleep is optimized, relaxation and mindfulness is optimized, getting that gut strong, getting that detox and find out what those environmental toxins can be and then digging down to that bottom line as to why. Why are you not feeling well? And that's my role as the detective. So I look forward to seeing you here at the Amen Clinic so we can do a multi-dimensional analysis of your symptoms and come up with the answers we need. All right, thank you.